I shot the Pleiades at 135 millimeters focal length, but there was a problem. The gradient is bad and the star halos are back again. The solution, two different filter combinations. Here's how I did it. My equipment, I used the Samyang 135 millimeter lens, a ZWO ASI 533MC Pro camera, and an Ioptron Gem 26 mount with guiding. Now let's look at the capture details. But why two filters? Duoband is a narrowband filter capturing HA and O3 wavelengths. Perfect for nebulosity detail, but star colors aren't natural because it only sees a small part of the spectrum. The El Perro filter is a broadband filter. It blocks light pollution, but preserves natural colors, which is ideal for stars. When we combine the data from these two filters, we get both nebulosity and natural star colors. Look, duo band is very narrow. El Pro is very wide. The secret is in the name, narrow band and broadband. This combination gives the best of both worlds. Now let's move on to the processing workflow. First, opening the duoband data, I've got 90 frames. Each exposure was 180 seconds, so that's about four and a half hours total integration. The stacking process has been completed. Now let's see the raw data. What you see, of course, is that the raw version is very dark. So I'll do a histogram stretch. Watch carefully. There, the Dua band gives us this incredible nebulosity detail. Merope Nebula, or the Pleiades star cluster, is very clear now. But look at the star colors and the halos on the brighter ones. Not natural at all. That's why we need RGB data. Now let's move to the L Pro data. Opening the L Pro RGB data, which is 76 frames, each 180 seconds, so just short of four hours integration, this data captures a wide spectrum. Now we can see the natural colors, blue stars, red stars, all looking natural, all looking good. But how's the nebulosity? Could be better. The stars are great, but the nebulosity, as I said, it could be better. And we'll improve that now by combining these two data sets. We'll take the best of both filter captures and hopefully get a nice result at the end. So let's open RGB image. And let's open our narrowband image. Rotate this one 180 degrees so they're both the same. Create another and we'll paste the RGB into that. And we'll paste the narrowband image also. Now on the narrowband image, we're going to remove and create a stylus image. What do you think on? And the reason we do this is because we only want the RGB stars. What we'll do now. We'll 
I'll do the gradient. To gradient exterminator to get rid of some of that gradient. How are we going to get rid of these star halos here? Let's zoom in a little bit. Go to the healing brush tool. Go and block some of these out. Paint some of them out. Alt click very close by. Deleting the worst ones. Most of them you can leave. These really bad ones, get rid of them. See, that's a lot better. So we've got our narrowband, we've got our RGB. I'm going to put the RGB at the top. And we're going to blend these two together. So we go to screen, vary the opacity. I think I'm going to go to something like about 60%. Okay, so that's what I'm happy with and flatten the image and now I'm going to darken it up. Now the final touches to get the image just as I want it. Yeah, it looks better again. Go to the shadows. Brightness, contrast, take a little bit of saturation out. Perfect, now we have the optimal balance nebulosity detail preserved and natural star colors. We've also reduced some of the star halos. Let's compare all three versions. <laughs> mm -hmm. Quick note, this tutorial represents over eight hours of imaging plus hours of processing work. If you're finding this valuable and want to support more in-depth content like this, there's a buy me a coffee link in the description. <laughs> now let's compare Dua Band only, <laughs> LPRO only, and the combined result. First, look at these bright stars. In the Dua Band version, the colors are pretty horrible. In the LPRO version, a beautiful color. And combined, the color is preserved with enhanced luminance and enhanced nebulosity. Most of the star halos are now gone. So what's my recommendation? For the Pleiades with 135 millimeter focal length, this dual filter approach is the winner. This technique also works for other wide field targets. Andromeda, Orion Nebula, California Nebula, even the Milky Way core. Any target where you want both nebulosity detail and natural star colors. Which target would you like to try next with this technique? Write in the comments below. If this helped you, hit the like button 
and subscribe for more astrophotography tutorials. Clear skies and see you in the next one.